There used to be millions of dwarf flamingos in Lake Bogoria. Now there are only a few tens of thousands. The salt content of the Kenyan lake is being diluted by fresh water from underground. The green algae the flamingos feed on is dwindling. Chief Warden William Kimosup can only look on. 250 kilometers away, an international team is working on the bigger picture, global standards for well-managed nature protection areas. The team is setting criteria for inclusion on the list. Mark Hawkins from the International Union for Conservation of Nature explains its purpose. It's not just about giving um, a, a, a sticker to the very best managed parks. It's actually a process to help all parks to improve and reach a better standard of management. Lake Bogoria Nature Reserve is a good candidate for the green list. There's very little human intervention in its 100 square kilometer area. We look for a greater kudu, an antelope species that's become rare in Kenya. Suddenly we see a small greater kudu, a juvenile, and two females. There's been a drought for months. The farmers' pastures are dried out. They're allowed to take their cattle into the nature reserve. This is a kudu trail. The farmers don't close it off, even though kudus attract predators that could threaten their cattle. The credo here is finding compromises that benefit everyone. Philip Yator used to poach kudus. Now he's a good farmer. William Kimosop used reason to convince him to change. Philip has since inspired many other people that they have come out and say, yes, this thing is bad, I think we need to do something else. And many, many more other people like him have stopped poaching. William Kimosop's skill in managing conflicts is one reason Bulgaria is such a promising candidate for the Green List. Another is that its approach involves the whole community in conservation. Mark Hawkins from the IUCN explains how nature reserves would benefit by being on the list. It can be important, for example, for tourists who might be going to those protected areas to have confidence they're going to a site which is well managed. And it could mean even enhanced funding for protected areas. For the flamingos, the drought has had its good side. William Kimosop says the lake's salt content is rising again and the algae is multiplying. So there's hope flamingos will once again flock in their millions to Lake Bogoria.